It's been 24 hours since Mizzou Athletic Director Mike Alden announced he will step down from his position at the university. Good afternoon, I'm Brittany Pieper. And I'm Shale Ramin. Thanks for joining us. Today, Alden spoke at a news conference where he spoke about his time at MU as well as his family, and at times he got a bit choked up. All right, thanks, Chris. Authorities are still looking into what caused a massive garage fire in Higby that left one man dead. Kimmy Wade's Teague Dooley Panko spoke to the victim's daughter-in-law, who says she's devastated and still confused as to how the fire was started. The other man involved in the fire was airlifted to a hospital in Columbia. He is now good, in good condition. The city of Columbia announced today they saved quite a bit of money by trying to make the city more like a family. Kimmy Waits, Michael Downa is in the studio to tell us how exactly the city saved all that cash. Athletics Kenya announced today that the runner Rita Jeptu, winner of Boston and Chicago marathons, has been banned for two years after failing a drug test. Kenyan athletics are among the world's best middle and long distance runners but have failed numerous drug tests in recent years. Kenya's sports minister says the rise in doping has been an embarrassment to the country. Yesterday, KOMU reported a dairy bill going through the Missouri legislature. We said the Senate passed the bill and it was heading to the governor's desk. In fact, the bill is one of two dairy bills right now at the Capitol. The Senate's, bill, the Senate's passed bill is now headed to the House, not the governor. Looking live over Columbia Regional Airport, this is KMU 8 News, first at 5. Coverage you can count on.